Midlands Air Ambulance Charity have been a massive passion of mine for, well, for the last two years, really. So just over two years ago, um, I was nearly fatally stabbed in Sutton Coldfield Town Centre. And um, I was eight months pregnant at the time. And the members of the public, West Midlands Police, West Midlands, Midlands Ambulance Service, were absolutely fantastic. They intervened, administered first aid, and kept me alive. But unfortunately... I was so very near the edge, I'd lost a lot of blood, that um, if I hadn't been airlifted from the scene, I wouldn't have been here and neither my daughter be here today. So um, the difference that they made literally was life and death and they are completely 100% charity funded organisation. get no government funding and they have to raise over £9 million per year to run and to fly. So for me, it's like giving back and giving more in order for them to be able to go out and save other people's lives. I had the crazy idea that I would wear one of the flight suits that the paramedics and the doctors wear on the actual Midlands Air Ambulance. So one of the paramedics, Karen Baker, has very kindly um, given me one of her old flight suits and I am now wearing said flight suit around the course. It is Crikey. I don't know how much she weighs in kilograms. It's quite heavy. It's very cumbersome. It's not breathable in the slightest. It's got big heavy pockets and padding. Um, so I believe the weather's going to be 24 degrees at the moment, it's saying on the forecast. So it's going to be a hot day. So I might be a little puddle by the end. <laughs> The Great Midland Fund starts in Sutton Town Centre and not only in Sutton Town Centre, we're probably talking less than 100 yards from the point where I was stabbed and we will actually run over the point where I was airlifted at the very beginning of the, ra uh, the run and at the end of the run you come back over that same point. So um, it will be tough, I'll be totally honest, um, mentally because although I do go into Sutton Town Centre I do find it hard, I do find it challenging and obviously the whole link of why I'm doing it will be very much at the forefront of my mind and I am actually officially starting the race on Sunday so I am actually on the mic setting the runners off so I have to set them off and then join at the back and then run and so there'll be the emotion of having given a little speech at the beginning as well. I always set the target for my challenges as £2,400 because um, that was the weight in grams of my daughter who was delivered on the day of that awful day of the attack. Um, now I've got 2600 which I'm really pleased and thank you so much to everyone who supported me. Um, obviously still put the plea in, please, anything that anyone can give, just keep giving. It's £2,500 for a mission. So every time an air ambulance goes out, it costs, they reckon, £2,500. So I've paid for a mission, but everything else we can get, it helps pay for equipment. You've got to think about fuel, you know, everything that they need on board that aircraft has to be paid for with the charity money. So every bit counts.